got one big smile, it's obviously going well. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, new I love, isn't it? So we've been talking. No one thought the two would last, and they are now proving all of those people right. Jerry Hall and Rupert Murdoch call it quits. After six years of marriage, the 91-year-old billionaire decided to call things off with 65-year-old Jerry Hall. This was Rupert's fourth marriage, and he apparently broke things off via text. That's right, broke the news of wanting a divorce to his wife over text. I guess money can't buy you courtesy. Are the rumors true? Is it time for Rupert to find wife number five? Let's find out. Today we are talking Jerry Hall, tomorrow you decide. Give this video a like and let us know in the comments who you want to see next time on Where Are They Now. Jerry Hall, American model and actress, was born on July 2nd, 1956 in Gonzales, Texas. She has a twin sister named Terry and they have three older sisters. One of her sisters, Ruby Hall, was one of the first ever Dallas Cowboys. Jerry was first discovered by fashion agent Claude while sunbathing on a St. Tropez beach with her sister, Terry. After her discovery, she moved to Paris where she shared an apartment with Grace Jones and Jessica Lange. Her modeling career officially began when she appeared as a siren on the cover of Roxy Music's 1975 album, Siren. Jerry is such an example of being in the right place at the right time because by 1977, Hall had graced over 40 magazine covers, including Italian Vogue and Cosmopolitan. At this point, she was receiving modeling fees of over $1,000 a day. If that sounds like a nice chunk of cash today, imagine how she was feeling in the 70s. Also in 1977 was the year she left her ex-boyfriend musician Brian Ferris for Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones. Thanks to her long blonde hair and height of 6 feet tall, Hall was one of the most visible and photographed models of the day. In 1980, Jerry decided to try her hand at acting and appeared in the 1980 film Urban Cowboy starring John Travolta. She also had a role in Tim Burton's 1989 Batman film. After Batman, Hall took to the stage. Her professional debut was in the revival of Bus Stop in July 1988. She played the role of Sherry, the role that Marilyn Monroe played in the film adaption. She reprised the role for her London West End stage debut in 1990 at the Lyric Theatre in Shaftesbury Avenue and in November of the same year. Jerry and Mick held a Hindu wedding ceremony in Bali, Indonesia. The two lived in London and share four children, Elizabeth, James, Georgia, and Gabriel. Jerry Hall has been featured in Bovril ads and played the role of Miss Scarlet in the 1993 British television show Cluedo and in TV series The Detectives. In 1999, Hall and Jagger split after their 22-year relationship. Hall stated that Jagger's infidelity is the reason for the split, even though they were both known to have their share of affairs throughout the marriage. The marriage had been declared null and void due to it not being legally valid under Indonesian or English law. In the early 2000s, Hall appeared as the role of Mrs. Robinson in a Broadway production of The Graduate. In February 2004, Hall was presented with the Guinness World Record for making the most musical appearances in a single night. She performed in six shows before over 9,000 theater goers in London's West End. The following year, she stuck to the stage and appeared in the first London production of Cole Porter's High Society. Also in 2005, she was in the center of reality show Kept, following her journey to find a kept man. Hall provided the voice for Sister Penelope on British cartoon Pope Town, which aired first in New Zealand. And in 2007, she guest starred on the British TV show Hotel Babylon. She also appeared in the BBC comedy series French and Saunders. In 2010, she published her autobiography, Jerry Hall, My Life in Pictures. She had an art collection that she sold the same year through Sotheby's and walked away with two 2.4 million pounds. June 2012, Hall made a one week appearance with David Soule in a reprise of the Pulitzer Prize nominated play Love Letters by A.R. Gurney at the Gaiety Theatre in Dublin. In September, she was announced as one of the competitors for season 10 of British dance show Strictly Come Dancing. She was, however, the second celebrity to be eliminated from the competition. Four years later, she performed at Glastonbury. She wrote music and lyrics to original country and western music. After his divorce from his third wife in 2013, Jerry showed interest in Rupert Murdoch. Murdoch is an Australian-born American businessman and investor. With his company News Corp, he owns hundreds of local, national, and international news outlets, including UK's The Sun and The Times, Australia's Herald Sun, The Australian, and in the US, he owns The New York Post and The Wall Street Journal, book publisher HarperCollins, and many more physical news outlets. He also owns Sky News 
News Australia, Fox News, and also owned 21st Century Fox until 2019. Rupert Murdoch is now 91 years old and has a debt worth of $21.7 billion as of March 2022. He and Jerry took their relationship public for the first time in October 2015 at the Rugby World Cup, and in January 2016, the two announced their engagement. The public thought it was all for publicity or that Jerry was in it all for the money due to their 25 year age gap, but the two seemed to be happy together, and shortly after their engagement, the two made it official in a small ceremony in London on March 4th, 2016. The two were thought to never last, but they had been proving skeptics wrong. People close with Rupert stated he was in love and happier than ever with Jerry and she with him. So where are they now? Not long ago, it was reported that the two who had been happily married, or so we thought, for six years would be calling it quits. After the news broke, people were shocked and curious to know why the sudden decision. Who was the one who called it off? What happened between these two that would cause them to divorce? The split became official when Jerry and her family failed to attend Rupert's annual summer party in London. Rumors swirled around that the reason for the split was Rupert's dislike of Jerry's smoking. Jerry has commented in the past that she enjoys smoking and that she thinks she still looks pretty good. But I guess looking good isn't all there is to staying married to Mr. Murdoch. I'm sure there was more to the split than just the model's bad habit, but it's possible it was Rupert's last straw. It also had been rumored that Rupert allegedly broke the news to Hall via text. That's right, text. Allegedly, Hall was shocked at the news along with friends and family of the pair, which leaves me to believe there's something going on behind the scenes. What do you think? Did Rupert just decide he had enough of the smoking and send her a text? Is there more to the story we haven't heard? Will Rupert find love again? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I have been your host, Maddie. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you next time on Where Are They Now?